hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse slipper it is Monday today but you're gonna be seeing this on Thursday and what I'm gonna do is show you everything we sold over this past weekend we have about a thousand dollars going out on eBay close to 300 on Etsy 80 on Poshmark and one ten dollar sale over on Mercari so I'm gonna show you them all right now All right, so eBay has been a little bit slow for us. $1,000 is not a bad weekend, but typically before we slowed down, we were at about $2,000 a weekend. So hopefully we will be able to get that up soon. So first up is this cute little milk glass owl ornament. It is not marked. This one sold pretty fast. I only paid about a dollar for this one. It sold for $11.69. So this one is about a $9 profit. And then we have a license plate. Paid a dollar each for these. Bought $1,200 of them. This one sold for $10.39. So it's about a $7 profit. It sold in about four months. And I did get a message asking how I price the license plates. I looked up every single one for the year as well as the type of the plate. Like if they had a state saying on them, if they had a picture on them. I looked up every single one in the sold comps to get the prices that I was listing those for. That's how I knew some of those that you typically wouldn't think are worth $30, $40, $50 were. So I do recommend comping each one if you find some license plates. Up next is a little Tanala Bell. This one says Cancun. I actually just picked this one up recently. I paid, I believe, $2 for it. it. does still have its original ball there. This one sold for $10, so it's about a $5 profit. Up next, this is a good sale, and we have sold most of these. So this is a Royal Dalton Miniature Ladies. She is still in her original Royal Dalton box. If you find the six and seven inch ones of these, they can be big money. This small one sold for $30 plus the buyer paid shipping. I did pay close to $10 each for these. So this one's going to be about a $15 profit. And that $30 was a best offer. I had her listed, I think about 40 and she's been listed about six months. So I did accept the $30 offer. Up next is a tiny, tiny little Harley Davidson pen and this is actually a Harley Davidson police pen so this little one I paid a dollar for and it sold for $22 plus the buyer paid shipping making it about a $17 profit and this one sold in about six months so this one does have the pen but again I said this a couple of times we don't sell the back with any of these because that is how we got them up next is a bluebird of happiness if you do not know these they are very very steady sellers so i always pick them up if i can get them for five dollars or less five dollars is what i paid for this little guy there also is red and yellow ones that are worth a bit more so this one is signed leo ward if you find the yellow canary or the red cardinal those are worth more this one sold for 16.24 in under two months so it's going to be about an eight dollar profit up next is the nixon button it actually is kind of raggedy it's got some stains here but it is an original nixon button this one i got in a lot so pennies in it sold for five so it will be about a three dollar profit and then this is a longaburger garter so this just is a little ruffle edge that goes around the top of the baskets so if you see these and you can get them cheap i would pick them up this one i'm less than a dollar in it sold for 828 in under a month so this one's about a five to six dollar profit all right this next item sold really fast and it is coming from our death pile so lynn is working her way through the unlisted inventory in the shed as well as putting up the stuff that i thrift for my other channel over at cash treasure hunting so this is actually part of a buyout i did over a year ago but it's been sitting in the death pile so this is home wire i was less than a dollar in it sold for 974 in two days really really fast and it's about a six dollar profit 
All right, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you have seen these. You probably saw me find them up in Pennsylvania at a flea market. So these are actually gorgeous 1930s World Fair art glass pens. So I paid about $25 a piece for them. This one sold for $97.49, so it's about a $55 profit, sold in a little over a year. Next, this is another fast selling. So we just listed this last week. It is a granny square blanket, Afghan. I only paid $3. This one sold for $25.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. It is going to be about a $15 to $16 profit. Sold really, really fast. So some of these, if they're bright rainbow colors, if they're 3D, you can get more money, but typically, for standard colors, even the cool mid-century modern ones like this one, they only go for about 25 to 30. Up next is a scarf. So this is a vintage Elaine Gold. There's the tag for you. Elaine Gold collection. Really, really pretty. It's a long, thin scarf. This one I paid a dollar for. It sold for $19.48. It did take about eight months to sell and this one's going to be about a $14 profit. <laughs> Up next. I'm not putting this on because I feel like I couldn't get out of it. Um, look at the hair. Anyways, this creepy mask. I paid less than a dollar at a garage sale. It sold for $12.99. So this one's about a $9 profit and it sold in about two months. And this one is from the Paper Magic Group. That is the name on this mask. Up next is another Longa Burger item. This one is a little liner. So this one is for the chives basket, which is a really small basket. This little holly liner. So we sold two of these for $19.48 total, just under $10 a piece. They sold really within about two to three months. And this one's gonna be, the two of them will be about a $15 profit. Up next, this is not sell for a lot. And honestly, I almost could have kept it for what it sold for, cause it's really cool. If you know me, I love Romero Brito. And this is some of his artwork. So I've sold some of his sculptures. Actually, the most expensive thing in my store is a Romero Brito painting. This hanging on my wall over there and it's listed at about $6,000 because it is a artist proof number one. So this little tin, I only paid $2 for it, sold for $9.09 .09 plus the buyer paid shipping. So it's gonna be about a $5 profit, but it took over a year to sell. Up next is a DVD, Deep Blue Sea. This one I'm less than a dollar in, took about a year and a half to sell, sold for five, so it's about a $3 profit. Up next is a Simply Southern shirt. So new with the tag, cause I did get these at the outlet. This one says coffee, murder, shows, and chill. This one is a extra large, sold for $17.54. I paid $5.99, so this one's gonna be about a $9 profit and it sold really fast. Watch out for Simply Southern. I'll show you the what that tag looks like. And these sell really fast. I pick up pretty much all of these I can find for $5 or under when I'm out at the thrift stores. Up next is an Iron Maiden t-shirt. It's actually going out to a viewer. They did not know it was me until after the fact. So they just happened to find mine. This is on a Pacific tag. It is XXL. Really cool Iron Maiden shirt. I'm only about $3 in. It sold for $11.69. So this one's about a $5 profit. And that one is going out to Brian. So Brian, thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate the support, even though you didn't know it was mine until after the fact. Up next, I actually got this on Whatnot and I actually broke even on this one. So I bought this to support my good friend Dawn over at Sanford and Son. I paid her $160. It sold for $194, so it really is a break even. And it was a necklace, bracelet, and clip on earring set. And again, break even, but I like to go buy some stuff on Whatnot to show support. And actually, last night, Seth from Good Finds for You, he does almost all, or actually, he does do all sterling, silver, and gold. Seth came in and bought some stuff from me to show support and turned around and and gave it away to my viewers, which was pretty cool. So one of our giveaways last night had three items in it because Seth 
had bought some to give away. So I do like to go into other shows on whatnot, show some support. I have a Shriner brooch up on auction that I believe I have starting at 500 that I paid 400 from Dawn and I'm hoping it will go over a thousand dollars. So I bought three really high dollar pieces from her. This one sold really fast but again it is break even but I'm happy to show support to other sellers. Up next is a Longa Burger basket. This is just a little round catch-all basket. This one sold for $16.24. I paid eight, so this one's only about a $6 profit. It was in a big lot. I did cost average, and a lot of the baskets have been worth quite a bit more. So that one was a small profit, but overall the lot has made over $1,000 in profit. Up next, I tell you guys to look at these little cute vintage and handmade ornaments. This little angel, which she is like styrofoam, you can see her styrofoam there and she's got a little styrofoam head this little angel sold for $8.74 I paid a dollar so she's about a five dollar profit she did take about three to four months to sell up next are two pieces of fabric so the buyer got both pieces this one has got little kitty cats puppy dogs really cute both of these were marked Cranston and then here's the other one it's a really pretty yellow floral print you can see there both were a little bit over a yard the two together sold for $17.50 I am in two dollars so it's about a 13 to 14 dollar profit and those sold in under a month up next is a little Lions Club pen I am pennies in this one sold in about four months for five dollars and fifty cents so it's about a three dollar profit there is the back of that one so i bought a ton of jewelry for like 40 dollars. it had a bunch of these pens but we've actually sold quite a few so far up next these are really heavy and they sold really fast so it's a pair of silver plate candela candelibras and but look do you see one is polished one is not so the people that I got the estate buyout from, I guess her sister wanted to try to polish something and half of one of those is polished. So hopefully the buyer intends to polish them because the one half of one is polished. So I'm only a couple dollars into those. They sold in under a month for 55. So they're about a $40 profit. Up next are some little kitty cats. So these little kitty cats are a planter. It does have a date of 88 on the bottom. These I picked up for about $2. They sold for 21 in under a month. And these actually sold in a live sale and somebody never paid. So that is one of the reasons I love switching to whatnot from YouTube lives is because I had a, not a ton, but I did have a few issues of people I couldn't get a hold of or maybe they didn't know how to contact me stuff went unpaid this is one of them so this one once we listed it up on ebay sold in about a week really fast for 21 and it's going to be about a 14 dollar profit up next are some really cool milk glass salt and pepper shakers and you can see this tops in pretty poor condition the other one's not great these are not marked i paid three dollars for these they sold for 20.78 making them about a 13 dollar profit and they sold in about five months and then a whole three dollar sale i've had these forever attitudes by renee if you've been watching me i used to buy qvc palettes that is where this came from so at this point everything that comes in is profit but this one's only going to be about two dollars after fees up next are some Rolling Stone coasters. I picked these up at a yard sale for a dollar to either yard sale or a thrift store, maybe even a flea market. I don't remember where they came from, but I only paid a couple dollars. They sold for 17, so they're about a $13 profit, and they sold in about a month and a half. Up next is a Hogs Breath Key West, Florida t-shirt i picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar this one sold in about two months for 14 dollars, so it is about a 10 dollar profit next is a really cool uranium creamer so this does glow under the black light this one i paid two dollars it sold for 10.38 so it's about a seven dollar profit so be careful with uranium glass because it used to 
pretty much everything uranium would sell high. However, the values have come down in the past couple of years. So be careful if you are looking to pay up on uranium glass and check the comps because not all of it sells high. Up next is a little chunky vintage necklace kind of a really pretty orange color these are plastic beads this one i paid about three dollars for it sold for ten so it's going to be about a five dollar profit and it took about four to five months to sell so with jewelry i'm not listing really any jewelry except for like the high dollar like the necklace set you saw the shriner brooch that is on auction Pretty much all jewelry we get now does go to whatnot because instead of waiting four to five months like that last one, as soon as I put it up on auction, it pretty much is sold. And I might not make as much money on there, but it sells faster. So I'm moving a lot more. It sells a lot faster. And that is why for most of my jewelry, I have chosen to sell it over on whatnot. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I will give you a premiere of what is coming up tonight. We are going to have some amazing owl jewelry some other animals so i'm going to give you a preview of what is going to be on whatnot tonight at 8 30 p.m eastern standard so for now that's everything for ebay we're going to go ahead and show you what sold on poshmark etsy mercari and overall it's a little over 400 dollars so we do use list perfectly and if you want to try that to cross post it is computer based and we have been using them for two years we love them they have a ton of features i actually don't use we did go to a event they put on last week so they're very very supportive of the reseller community so if you want to try them use my code the nurse flipper you'll get 30 percent off cross post your stuff out get it seen by more people and it it really does pay for itself so up first we're going to show you the one item that sold on mercari and that is a little pottery book so this really cool tradition and innovation pottery book i picked it up in an online auction lot i'm less than a dollar in this one sold for 10 on mercari so it's going to be about a seven dollar profit up next on poshmark this is a really big paint by number so this i picked up at the thrift store for only three dollars it sold for 20 on poshmark so it's going to be about a 12 dollar profit after fees and then on mercari if you think mercari's only clothes you just saw a paint by numbers kit now we sold a revere wear pot so this is copper bottom i do not put the time in to clean them because the value cleaned versus uncleaned is not enough for me to take the time to do it so this four quart revere wear pot sold for 17 on mercari i only paid about two or three dollars for this one so it's going to be about a nine dollar profit up next is license plate again none of these are clothing items selling on posh this 1930 iowa license plate sold for 16 dollars over on poshmark we paid a dollar so it's going to be about an 11 dollar profit after fees up next is some coca-cola bears i've had listed for three years almost so there is one lot of four here and then this other lot so if you think about picking up coca-cola bears i would think twice these eight sold for 14 dollars. i did get them for like a quarter a piece so i am still making about an eight dollar profit but they took three years to sell i actually picked them up in a big lot of beanie babies and almost all of the beanie babies have sold so i paid less than a quarter a piece sold them all for 9.99 free shipping on the beanie babies which gave me about a four to five dollar profit on each but that when you have hundreds of them that definitely adds up up next another thing we've had for almost three years these are four little kind of botanical flower plates they do have the sticker made in japan seven dollars for all four they are little at least so these are going to be about a four dollar profit but they took three years to sell so when you pick up plates and stuff like that make sure you check comps and that you're not going to have them three years like i did last on poshmark before i show you etsy is another of the simply southern sweatshirts this one again there's your tag so we did have one clothing item sell on poshmark this one sold for 17 dollars, and it's going to be about a 10 dollar profit after fees and it sold in under two months again i did pick these up at the simply southern outlet for five dollars and 99 cents all right we have some good sales on etsy first is a license plate 
This one sold for $40. I only paid a dollar, so it's actually about a $32 profit, and it sold in about four months. And you can see it does, does have damage. Two holes. Up next is a really cute little pewter jewelry box. This one sold on Etsy as well for $30. I only paid three, so this one's about a $23 to $24 profit. This one I've had a little while too. I think I've had this one close to a year. All right, this was a good sale. I actually made this sale while I was live on Whatnot last night and shared it with them. This is a really cool perfume bottle. It is Beverly Hills. Her name is Gail. And this one sold for $70. I'm only about $3 in. So this one is over a $60 profit. Big hat sale. $40 hat sale on Etsy. It does have the rope, the checkered bill, Chevrolet racing. It is a snapback. I paid $2. This one is about a $35 profit and it sold in under two months. All right. Up last is probably my favorite item from today. This is a beautiful Tessidre 1991 pottery tile absolutely gorgeous with the Native American pottery. This one sold for $35 on Etsy. So it's about a $25 profit. You can see a little Kachina sun face up there. Absolutely love these. Some of these Cedra tiles can sell for 50, 60, 70. There again is the signature. So watch out for these. Most of them are Southwestern style that I have found. So keep an eye out for those. That one sold probably about six to eight months so it does take the right buyer to find those so that is everything don't forget again we are live almost every night on whatnot this weekend coming up there's a valentine's jewelry extravaganza we are taking part in i think we are on saturday at 3 p.m eastern standard time so definitely look on my whatnot bookmark that and look for the other shows because we've been going live five to six nights a week i'm going to show you the preview for tonight of some really cool animal jewelry that will be available thank you for watching let's take a look at the jewelry all right, so here is what we will have later tonight on Whatnot. You can see dragonflies, elephants, some great owl pieces. There is a Betsy Johnson little pug that is absolutely little cute pug or a Frenchie. I've got cloisonne peacock there. Also this really blinging peacock bracelet as well. All of this will start at $5 bidding tons and tons of elephants lions look at the little skunk there's another elephant some spiders there is a lot here is a ladybug necklace and earring set some dolphins of course more butterflies this ring is pretty cool it's got little octopus legs so lots of variety tonight so all you need to do is search for the nurse flipper on whatnot if you aren't signed up it is an app on your phone and you will get $15 free using my link so come and see us tonight and you could get maybe one two or three of these pieces for free and we are live almost every night at 8 30 p.m eastern on whatnot so i look forward to seeing you there i didn't zoom in on this look at this beautiful cloisonne quayfish gorgeous so come see us and get some of these goodies mm -hmm.